Oh, and so our first our first match is going to be number 13, Sunnyvale, against Prakalakin. Let's head down to the action. All right, welcome everyone to round or the quarterfinals, not round six, quarterfinals here. We've got Sunnyvale versus Prakalakin. Let's tell our players that they are good to go. And let's get going with some top eight action here. All right, Sunnyvale keeping a hand. Looks like they're on soldiers. Keeping a hand with a Shock Troops, a Darley, and a pair of Crown Patrollers. Yeah, I really like this deck a lot. It's got Tara in here. Uh, Tara is new from Stormbreak. Uh, give one of your units Warcry 2. And essentially, this makes it not only good for this uh, low-cost guy to become stronger with Warcry and get other people to put with perplex stats, but it also makes it so if they die... Tara goes up to a 6-6 six, six and gets Warcry 4. All right, quick start here from Sunnyvale. Play out that Dara Lee, play out that Crown Patroller, and then activate Dara Lee to hit for 5. Pretty strong. Now you got a pair of 2 ones out, and Prax got nothing going on on their side. They've got a Vanquish. They've got a Desert Alchemist they can hit here, which is exactly what Prax needs because they need a blocker and they need to plunder, plunder because they got no more power coming in. So Prax can have by this land, huge desert out Two there. by sea. And look at this start by Sunnyvale. <laughs> Incredible start. Unfortunately, going to get, I don't want to say blown out necessarily, but unfortunately going to no. get hit right. with this desert alchemist. You know. Yeah. But Sunnyvale's pretty happy with that start. That's about one of the best starts you can ask for. The only thing he needs now is a janitor dove it off the top. See if he can hire the janitor. Put out a call for work. Coveted gemstone here for Prax. too many patrollers out here. All right, treasure trove. Argos technique. Argos okay. tech. That's not bad. Unfortunately, Prax deck isn't super high on the spell count. You know, they're playing Seraphs and Vanguards next, so this counter isn't going to work great, but it can do a lot He's of He's going to try and well. amp the shock troops again. I feel like we've seen that earlier. Oh, that and happened. as I as I speak, Builder's Decree off the top for Prack, but unfortunately, <laughs> the one spell they draw it is going to get countered by the delete, Argos technique. Delete, delete. Oof. It's gone. Brutal. And another shock troops. <laughs> the gang's all here. 5-5. Five, five. Oh, wow, that's beefy. But we got yeah. a kill killer with imbue over here yeah that was a I'm, huge I'm draw there for sunny unfortunately you still gain five health when it blocks and i believe that includes on killer attacks as well so find a way to amp the shock troops and then play the imbue with the killer yeah this is really awkward because you can't deal five to it until unless you deal some damage but if you deal some damage in blocks it's going to gain five health and then gain five health again when you killer attack Hashtag all in they're just going to send wave after wave after wave of their own men at their disposal. There you go. So that's an Killer. expensive That's an expensive way to take care of a Moonstone Vanguard, though. Two units and ten life to take care of it. Here comes a pair of Night Chips. Oh, oh, um, All right, here's your, here's your girl, Tara. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, she gave it to the 2-1 Crown Patroller. That's going to have Warcry. And this is going to make you think twice about blocking that, chump blocking that, because Tara's going to go to 6-6 six, six now with Warcry 4. And I don't even think they're thinking about it. I don't even know. Because maybe Tara's so new that they don't know. I have no idea. Maybe they do know. Maybe they don't care. I have no idea. Yeah, probably, probably a good, good thing Can we to call them up? Unit. Well, it, yeah, Prak actually, Prak having that Vanquish in hand. Probably what was letting them do that. Just just let Sonny put it all on a 6-6. Six, six. What was going through your mind? <laughs> hey, look at this. Unfortunately for Sonny, though, Prak just stabilizing here. It turns out just a pair of 3-4s. There's another Stone Crown Patroller. Like here for three, four, three. Yep, another crown one patroller here. All right, Night Chance of Seraph cool. flipping a copper hall porter. Yep. And that that goes right great with those shock troops because it works off that amp. It does. Now Sunny needs to find a way to amplify a, a hephos or some way to amplify here. Another shock troops. Ah, but you wow. need it. You need to amplify here. Hey, okay. how does one? How does one amplify if one does not know how to amplify, just out of curiosity? Smite in hand and a Diana for Prak. Man, Sunny had such a strong start. That Desert Alchemist totally changed this game. No, like, I'm, I'm serious. How, how do you amplify? In this deck, Hyphos can definitely amplify. Let's take a look at what else. You got Martial Efficiency as well. There's that Diana. 
Adara Lee can amplify. That Diana might be too strong yeah, for this so. for this deck. Hardy, actually, running two copies of Hardiness as well. Does this have a Velk enforced? Oh, they GG'd. No, they just do not. No, they, they don't, don't have seated. a Velk enforced. Oops. Yep, so Prakalakin's going to take that one. That was tough. Sunnyvale had a really strong start, but that Desert Marshal allowing to eat Sunnyvale's unit and then wander away really helped take, Sunnyvale there. Take out those bubble shields and put in the Velks <laughs> enforcers. That's what I would do. All right, let's see if they're getting ready for game two here. Sunnyvale versus Prakalakin, two very, very accomplished players on the circuit. Hopefully you know both of their names well. Sunnyvale, obviously, Friends of Eternal, fantastic podcast. So if you haven't heard of Friends of Eternal, go check it out. Go take a listen. Uh, one of the friends of the stream for sure. And Prakalakin, a long experienced player in our tournament series, supporting us from the beginning. So thank you for Prak for that as well. Two friends of the tournaments here for sure. All our players there are good to go. Crack taking a mulligan. A uh, Romanova beat John 2 0. Wow, Romanova 2 0 already. All right. Moving on to round two. So good start. Sunnyvale, unfortunately, on the draw. You know, we don't have modified play draw, so it's just whatever the random is. But nice play there. We got shock troops into the janitor, into martial efficiency. That's a very good starting hand for Sunnyvale. Let's see if being on the draw is going to be too slow for them. Prak has number a hand one, of Seraph, Smite, and Vank in hand. Vanquish. Number one, Aroma Nova will go up against the winner of Pay YU or Jolters. Okay. And Jolters actually got in. We were talking about Jolters hadn't having a chance coming back in as a as a dark horse. Ooh, here comes Tara. It's gonna give the one one the uh, war cry. Really gonna give that war cry. The vanquish on the janitor let loose the trash here. So that's how Pratt got these two two ones, and then expand the reach. Gonna plunder, play a sigil of their choice, depleted. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think expand the reach is in Stormbreak. Uh, there's another one with reach. I think expand the reach may be old, but I think there is a new a new okay. reach card though. You're you're right that there is a reach card in there. Okay. Um, but... I'm confusing it with the other one that's very similar to it. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, there's like another uh, time card as well that's like take another turn. That's really strong. Don't switch. Oh. All right, Sunnyvale's going to play out that Daru Lee. But Moonstone Vanguard is the biggest stop sign you can imagine here. 5-5 five, five Endurance. When it attacks, draw a card. When it blocks, gain 5 health. But Sunnyvale's going to attack with that Shock Troops. As you mentioned, the Tara gives it to Warcry. And that's going to put the tar Tara up to a 6-6 six, six Warcry 4. Plus, you got a Bubble Shield and a Martial Efficiency to protect it as well. And does she like just like suck in their soul and that's how she gets stronger like how does that <laughs> that is a good question the picture is of her pulling someone up off the railing but they're still in the void so not maybe sure like them dying uh is like her getting angrier now you know she now now she has more motivation she's stronger because she has more of like a, you killed my friend that i gave war cry to <laughs> yeah potentially uh, Builder's Decree here. That's that's going to be good here. It can take out one of these spells from Sunnyvale's hand and can also play a Sentinel. Now, Sunnyvale can bubble shield if he wants. That would stop the Builder's Decree from the from the, um, the Thoughtseize effect, but it would they'd still get the 7-7, seven, seven, which the 7-7 seven, is going to be hard enough for Sunnyvale to get through. There's that martial efficiency in hand there. That's going to be an epic play.
Okay. Am I okay? Quick question for chat. How's uh, how's Aqua's audio coming through? It's a little choppy for me, but I just don't know if it's my headphones or not. So uh, if Aqua's audio is too choppy, sorry about that. We're trying to get that fixed. I uh, don't want to distract too much from the game. So let me know in chat if the audio is good once you hear it. If, let me know if Aqua's audio is too distracting or if it's good for you guys and it might just be my headphones. But we'll get that fixed as soon as we can. Just let me know in chat what your guys' thoughts are. Anyway, but we'll keep we'll keep going with coverage uh, until we hear otherwise. So Sunnyvale, unfortunately, as we mentioned, seven seven Sentinel coming off that Builder's Decree, a Moonstone Vanguard, the five five that's going to attack and draw cards and block. You know, Sunny, I like the six six Warcry four, but unfortunately, these units are just are just going to be huge for for Prack, and it's going to be really difficult for Sunny to really get much going here. Prack also has a Smite in hand if they need to take something out, and they have that Knight Chancellor Seraph as well. Lots of lots of things favoring Prakalakin here. Uh, and I'm sorry, I gave the first game win to Sunnyvale, but Prakalakin won game one, didn't they? TCG Cthulhu moving on to round two against Avioin. So TCG Cthulhu will go up against the winner of this matchup of Prakalakin versus Sunnyvale. All right, here comes big shock troops for Sunny. We'll go through and take some big attacks, and this is going to get through. Now we still have that smite. We'll see, Prak has smite and equalize. I'm gonna put Prack down to nine though. Might come down to Aroma Nova versus TCG Cthulhu. All right, speaking circle here for Prakalakin. Banish, Entangling Vines, Pause for Reflection. All of these seem good. <laughs> TCG Cthulhu is now following. Thank you so much, Cthulhu. We really appreciate it. Thanks for playing here tonight as well. Disc Golf Dan, thank you so much for the follow. And Sunnyvale's going to be able to pull that one out. So congrats to Sunnyvale on tying that one up one game apiece. I thought, you know, Sunnyvale had their early stage there. I thought that Prack was going to be able to stabilize there and tie and, uh, and finish this off two to zero. But it looked like Sunnyvale was able to push through and do just enough damage to take that one. So they're going to go to a crucial round game three here to see who makes the top four of the semifinals. What were the updates from the back table, Aqua? Oh, we've got TCG Cthulhu moving on to round two, and we still have Aroma Nova also in round two. Aroma Nova will go up against the winner of Hey YU versus Jolters, and TCG Cthulhu will go up against the winner of this match between Prakalakin and Sunnyvale. Nice. Thank you so much for that. Okay. Sunnyvale and Prakalakin are good to go. Head down to the action. Game three of our first quarterfinal. All right. Prakalakin's hand is four power, Desert Alchemist, Smite, and Builder's Decree. That's a pretty good hand. Sunnyvale got that Crown Patroller, that Dara Lee, and that Terra, and Temple of Shion. Haven't seen that one in a while.
This might be the display bug in hand. You've got not that many cards in hand for Prak, but again, similar to what we saw in game one, Prak's got a Desert Alchemist here and a Smite. So they've got two, two cost options. But unfortunately, that that kill is gonna give because that was the because that was the unit that got Warcry 2, that's actually gonna give Terra the ability, and that's gonna put Terra up to a 6-6 six, six Warcry 4. Oof. Now Prak does have the Desert Alchemist. So oh, that Warcry does stack up on as well. So if you get another Tara out there, you'll get Warcry 6. I've still got the huge war cry there. Still got a huge war cry and ton of damage. So, I mean, I, have to, I don't know whose trade that's better for. I mean, that's huge for Prak to get that best unit off the field, but that's also huge for Sunnydale pushing to that damage and getting that and getting that war cry four. And here comes this smite, and this smite is going to get countered by Argos technique. Oh boy, we've seen Argos technique no, counter no, no. two crucial spells here. Another Argos tech. 10 to 25 plays a 3-3 three, three. what's its powers <clears throat> well wow it's going out with a bang there here comes the janitor here comes the Janidae. Amps the shock troops. Oh, exhausted them. GG. Oh, that was wow. enough. Wow, Sunnyvale taking that over Prakalak, and congratulations to Sunnyvale.